Hey, what's up guys? Filth Nasty again, and this is another video for my Marvel vs. Capcom 2 crackheads that want to install and use no DC and also use its record function to help out in training mode. I want to quickly point out that although FightKid exists, which is another more popular emulator, it only has arcade mode offline, so people specifically use no DC bear for training mode. Alright, let's go ahead and set it up. Alright, to get started, go ahead and click the link in the description. It should bring you to the GitHub page for no DC bear. What you want to do is head to releases here on the right hand side. On this page, you want to go to the latest version of no DC bear, which is this one right here at the very top. This is latest. Uh, it says bear 1.96 C. Scroll down to the assets section and click on this no DC dot bear dot exe. And go ahead and just save it in your download folder. Okay, now bring up your downloads folder. And what we're going to want to do here first is go to your desktop create a brand new folder. Let's call it no DC bear and drag and drop this into that folder. Open up the folder, double click no DC bear. It's going to say no DC was not found in this folder. Install no DC into this folder. You're going to hit yes. And then it's going to say this will create a bunch of files in the same folder as no DC bear exe. Okay. You hit yes. And now it has a bunch of new files in it. All right, now in this window here, it's gonna ask you what's your name. Go ahead and put whatever name you want as your display name. And then you're gonna wanna hit click me, add windows firewall entry for bear. And hit yes. And it's gonna do this crazy looking thing. And then hit save. Okay, now you have no DC bear installed, but you wanna get some ROMs for it, right? So go to the very top here and go to the free DLC tab, click on that. And the cool thing about no DC bear is that it has all these consoles slash platforms available here where you can just literally double click on them and download those ROMs. So you don't have to go to some sketchy website to download ROMs, which is awesome. But this is uh, going to be focused on Marvel versus Capcom 2. So let's go to the search bar here and then type in Marvel versus Capcom. And then the one I usually go with is Marvel versus Capcom 2 uh, with fixed in parentheses. So go ahead and click on that and click on download and then we'll give it some time to download. All right, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is installed. Let's hit OK and we can close out of this. Now if you hit play here on the bottom right and then go to the Dreamcast tab, this is where all your Dreamcast games will play. But since the only one we have right now is Marvel vs. Capcom 2, that's the only one that shows up. And it's usually a good idea to switch the emulator here on the top or on the bottom from Flycast to no DC. And then you hit let's go. So let's go ahead and try it just to make sure it launches the game. And cool, it launched the game. Uh, but let's not get ahead of ourselves because we still need to set up the controls, right? So let's go ahead and exit out of this. And here on the top, let's go to controls. Okay, so on this window here, we want to go to the Dreamcast tab at the top. And then over to the left on this drop down menu, we want to select our fight stick or whatever controller you have. Um, I have a fight stick, it's the Quanba Obsidian, which is right here. So I'm going to select that. And then since I also have a fight stick, I want to go down to this Dreamcast peripherals drop down and I want to select fight stick from there. And um, I'm not sure why it's not switching to fight stick. Let me hit save and then open it up again and go to Dreamcast. Okay, so now it's showing up correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and bring over my fight stick so I can remap all the, the buttons. And you'll notice here that uh, on the bottom left of this fight stick, it actually shows offline opponent record or playback. These are the two buttons that we're going to need to bind to either our keyboard or our fight stick if we want to use the record function in training mode. All right, so let's go ahead and hit remap controller and just go ahead and press the buttons that it shows on the display on your fight stick. Hit escape for that one, escape for that one. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. So we definitely want to bind the record and playback buttons to either our keyboard or the fight stick. Personally, I like to use some unused buttons on the fight stick because my fingers are already close to those buttons. I don't really have to move much to uh, press the buttons. However, I have noticed that sometimes if I'm like, you know, practicing my mashing, for example, I accidentally hit those buttons. So if you don't want that to accidentally happen, definitely bind those buttons to the keyboard instead and it won't happen. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and bind record to L1 on my fight stick, and then I'm going to bind uh, playback to L2, and then hit save. 
cool now with that done let's go ahead and go to play so like marvel versus capcom 2 emulator is still set to no dc so that's good let's go ahead and click on let's go all right and uh, if you do alt enter that maximizes the window and i suggest that you do this over hitting this button right here this maximize uh, because you can still see the window and it looks kind of ugly, right? So I like to just hit Alt Enter and it maximizes it and makes that window completely go away. Um, another thing, I don't really like that the versus information is on the bottom there. So what I like to do is I like to bring up this menu here by hitting uh, Alt Shift again. And I go to System, sorry, Options, Power VR, Versus Names, Bottom Full, and then hit None. And then boom, it's gone. All right, let's go ahead and maximize it again and make our way to training mode. Marvel versus... All right, and for this first time that we're selecting our characters, you can go ahead and just select any character because in order for the record function to work, we're gonna need to start training mode and then set the dummy to manual. Otherwise, record is not gonna work. And I will go ahead and show you that it doesn't work just so you can see what I need. Okay, so if I hit L1 on my fight stick, it should record and you see that it's recording because of the top left there. And now if I press any buttons, it should be controlling cable, but it's not. So we need to set the dummy to manual. So let's go ahead and hit start, training menu, dummy, manual. All right, now go ahead and uh, select the characters that you actually want to train with. And so I'm gonna hit L1 to start recording, and this is how I choose the characters for the P2 side. Then I hit um, L1 again to stop recording. That way I have control of P1 again. All right, I have control of P1. Now, if I hit L1 to record, I have control of Magneto, which is on P2. Now, let's say I wanted to record something specific with Magneto. So I'd go ahead and hit my record button. Cool, that seems good. I'm gonna put him on the, on the right side because that's the side he was on when I did the combo. Now, if I hit playback, And that's how you use the record function. Easy, huh? Okay, so that's how you install no DC bear and set up the record function. So if that's all you needed from the video, then you can stop watching if you want. But I did want to go over a few other things that are pretty helpful to know about no DC bear. So as you might already know, the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 community likes to make custom mixes with custom colors and custom music. And you might already have one of those mixes yourself. So if you wanted to install one of those mixes and use it in no DC bear, this is how you would do it. You want to hit free DLC here at the top and then open search ROMs folder right here. And this is going to bring up this folder right here. And what you want to do is open up DC ROMs. And then here you see that I have a bunch of custom mixes, right? And so if you had your own custom mix, this is where you would drag it in. And then once you drag it in, if you hit play and then hit Dreamcast, you're going to be able to see all the custom mixes here on this list. And the last thing I want to touch on is the fact that no DC bear does have some online capabilities. So if you want to play people online on no DC, you want to scroll down to here on the GitHub page. And then right where it says VPN setup, you want to click here, install it. Um, and it, this is what's going to allow you to connect to people and connect the servers. So you can play Marvel versus Capcom two with them. Installing it is pretty straightforward. So I'll let you follow the steps here so you can do that but I will also pull up Radmin so you can see how it looks and how it works. So you have this button here. Uh, if you want to turn it on, you can turn it on and you'll see that I'm already in the Marvel versus Capcom 2 server. But if you weren't, for example, you would hit network, you'd hit join network. And then here you can type in Marvel versus, and then you already see here, it says Marvel versus Capcom, right? So you click on that and hit join and boom, you're going to be able to see people. And in order for uh, you to see the players that you can play you'll want to hit refresh here and then now it's going to refresh 
the player list and it's going to show you everyone that you can challenge by right clicking and then hit challenge and then you can also dm people if you want or just block them all right guys well that's the video i hope it was helpful if it wasn't i'm sorry for wasting your time if you want me to waste more of your time i do stream on twitch so go ahead and follow me there and um yeah that's it peace